my goodness. <laughs> Just walked up a hill, it's killed me. Look, the sun's out. Uh, this is about a quarter of a mile away from where I live. But I'm going to take the chance of coming out. I've absolutely hammered all of these fields. And the, uh, huge wind, even the wind will one. But, I'm going to look where I found the gold. Uh, I mean, it took 10, 10 goes in one field to find that gold coin. It took at least eight in another, and it took four in another field. <laughs> so, either I'm a sloppy worker or the riding, but probably find nothing today because <laughs> I've hammered this, but we got to give it a whirl. And me, whew, I'm just getting unfit. <laughs> Whoa, I found a bit of lead. It means there's still stuff here. Whoa, be it ever so humble, it's a button, a pewter button. Didn't give high enough numbers for silver, unfortunately. Whew, God, I've walked, I've walked half a mile. I've got a pocket full of bits of lead. <laughs> and, whoa, I've found a coin. <laughs> Look at that. 1806, uh, George Third half penny. <laughs> My goodness. I thought I was going to go the whole day penniless. Just add another go over this hole. And there's something else in it. What's that? Oops. Bit of shiny. Oh dear. Oh, 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 Yay! Oh, it just shows how easy it is to miss stuff, eh? Just there is where I found that um, half sovereign, that first of the three that I found. It was just just here in this field, in that corner. I was, uh, <laughs> of course, I'm looking here to see if I can find more gold. Ah. <laughs> uh, I'm a sloppy worker. <laughs> I must be. My goodness. Oh well. Right, another George Third. <sighs> I got I got a lot of George Third half pennies all along that wall. There's a, a a very steep path goes down into the bottom of the beck and up to that other farm. Too steep to climb. I, I I've never been down it. Uh, and it appears they may have come out of there and come down here, through there and then along that lane, see the lane there over to the church but uh, it's really funny some fields round here, there's absolutely nothing in them some fields it's all wartime stuff this one it is old, it's an old field a lot of George III <sighs> God, I'm not good. <laughs> A few weeks off and I've had it. <laughs> Big wind up. Said it was going to rain, but it hasn't. Fingers crossed. It's been really nice. It's nice to be out. Really nice. And I've got three coins and a silver. <laughs> For somebody who doesn't dig up iron, I've just dug half a dozen pieces up. There's me compulsory three iron ring. I'm digging anything with a signal. <laughs> Oh, button. I'm under the trees here. Goddamn wind's getting up. Oh, that's an old, 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 old coin, is that? That's an old, old coin. Oh, dear. Looks to be uh, part of a farbing. I'm on my way back now. I think I've 
push me luck with the weather. <laughs> I thought I found another silver there, but it's a pure button. Where are you? Where are you? There you are. You can't be silver. Have a look what you are. Oh, he had a silver button. <laughs> oh dear. I've got a double silver then. And welcome to the roundup. Be it ever so humble. <laughs> oh dear, I've hammered those fields. Uh, but how I miss chunks of lead like this. I don't know. If your detector isn't right over the top, you ain't going to get them. So, look, chunks of lead. Lots of. <laughs> Pewter buttons keep fooling me the silver. Uh, ordinary button. And a uh, tiny touch of silver on there, but it, it is a tiny touch. And coins. Well, that I surprised myself here. These are the George three half pennies. Um, I call them 1806. They're either 1806 or 1807, and I'm sure that one's an 1807. Uh, they only did them those two years. The half pennies. Um, a lot of them are Irish ones, but these. Oh, just a minute. <sighs> Yeah, I haven't done this for long, I forget I'm how to do it. <laughs> forget it, I'll do the other one. <laughs> the head's that way up, so the tail is going to be there. And there she is, look, Britannia, seated. So they are English. They're English, half pennies, not Irish. This, I thought this could be um, a co-op token. Because they come in about this size, but now this is a coin, and I, I've had similar before, and they turned out to be a Portuguese. There was these tiny little thin wafer thin coppers, and uh, around about the 1800s, um, George third time, the, there was a lot of them in the country, um, tiny little things. And then, ta-da, piece the resistance. <laughs> Hello, George. <laughs> oh, my God, you're worn away. <laughs> 1819. Absolutely. Absolutely worn. Now, about three or four fields farther up the hill, I found another of these. George III, 1819. Still got it, but, but the one I found, look at that, it, that had been lost on the day it was made. This one has been around a bit, in fact, been around a lot. I'll just show you, I brought this one out, to, I'm not bragging, <laughs> I'm just showing you what this should look like. But I'm right chuffed to get a bit of silver anyway, but... Uh, They'll do for me, Jimmy. So there you are. That was a surprise. But uh, not not necessarily for that field it was in, because that there's a lot of Georgian come out of that field. Really weird. Field next door, nothing in it. <laughs> One lower down, full of wartime stuff. Uh, but there was gold in this field. Right, so I'll leave you with that. I'm feeling very cream crackered. Um, just not used to it and the old bones are aching. <laughs> so until I see you next time, take care and look, 
it's out there. And if you're following behind me, you're liable to find it. <laughs> See you later. Bye.